It's quite the find. Hello friends and welcome back to Crow's Thrifty Finds. My name is Melanie. So for today's video we are going to talk about music. We're going to talk about specifically cassette tapes. They're not really the thing to use anymore. We're relying all on digital media. However, a collector's market has emerged and people want those old cassette tapes. So today I'm going to talk about 10 cassettes that have good resale value. And these are going to be resale value on pre-owned cassettes because you're much more likely to find a rare pre-owned cassette than a rare sealed cassette. But just know that if you find a sealed cassette, many of them uh, sell for good money. It will depend on the band and the style and the time period and, and all kinds of different things. But I'm going to help you all out and talk about 10 uh, that I'm on the lookout for that I think you should be too. And these cassettes, for the most part, are from the 90s. And the 90s was when cassette tapes were a thing. And they also started to kind of phase out uh, as CDs became the way to listen to music. So there's that time period, kind of in the, in the mid to late 90s, where a lot of people had CDs at this point and fewer people were buying uh, the newest album on cassette. So I'd like to think that a lot of these cassettes that I'm going to discuss today are kind of rare but popular albums, so still attainable, still out in the wild, more than likely, at, you know, very possibly at somebody's garage sale. These are things to look out for. So here we go. Number one, cassette number one, is by a band called Sublime. Now, I loved Sublime uh, as a teenager, still do. Really cool music from the 90s. Uh, specifically, we're going to talk about the album 40 Ounces to Freedom. That album on cassette sells used on eBay in the $100 range, as you can see here. So be on the lookout for 40 Ounces to Freedom because that album is valuable on cassette. Album number two, we're gonna talk about rap for a minute here. This album by Nas, N-A-S, it's called Illmatic. And this album is valuable on cassette, whether you find it new or used, it sells for around $100, uh, give or take, some slightly over, some slightly under. We'll say, we'll say average $100. So it's a good payday if you find it. And most of the time when you find cassettes, they're a quarter, 50 cents. So we're talking a really good profit margin here. So definitely look out for Nas Illmatic. Number three. This is more of just a general band to be on the lookout for because there are numerous cassettes that I found um, by them that are valuable and we're talking $100 valuable. And that is by the band Insane Clown Posse or ICP. I've, I've just always thought it was kind of a funny name. And, and it's an interest, it has a very like cult-like following. Like there's a lot of people that like ICP. They even have a special name for themselves, for what their fans are called. It's, it's a big thing. So ICP has a following. Uh, collectors want to get ICP cassettes, and a lot of them go in the $100 range. So if you see an insane clown posse cassette, definitely worth looking up, more than likely worth picking up. Next, we have a band many have probably heard of, and they're still pretty popular today, Weezer. So many good Weezer songs, and many of the classic Weezer songs were on this album. Weezer does their albums by color, typically, and this album is called The Blue Album. So this one sells a little bit less than the others that I've been discussing, but we're still looking at used um, value um, up to fifty dollars. 
So it's definitely worth picking up because again, you're going to get these for cheap more than likely. So keep your eyes peeled for the Weezer Blue album and listen to it because it's good. <laughs> Next album on cassette is by another rock band called Radiohead. Radiohead had an album called The Benz, very popular. I don't know if this was a limited release. I see a lot of the sales are coming from England, which is where they're from, and, and maybe this was not widely circulated on cassette in the U.S., so I can't say how easy or hard this album may be to find. I see one U.S. sale, but it's going in the high 20s to 30s, so definitely be looking for, for Radiohead, The Benz, because it will get you some money if you can locate it on cassette. And, you know, you figure if you find it new, the, the value is going to be going to be quite a bit higher. So I find with cassettes, it it more than more than doubles sometimes the typical, you know, used versus new increase to me when reselling is 50 percent. But with cassettes, I feel like it goes even higher just because it's very rare to find these new albums on cassette. Next album is from a very popular band. Uh, it was a very popular album in the 90s, and that is Nirvana. Nirvana stuff in general is, is really collectible, and this album is no exception on cassette. Uh, it's their Live and Unplugged in New York album. This was one of their last released albums, and by this time period, most people have this album on CD, not cassette, but this album goes in the $20 range. So, you know, 20 to 30. It's, it's not as high as some of the others, but it's still worth keeping an eye out for because there's so many people that are collecting Nirvana right now. It will be a quick sale more than likely if you price it appropriately. Next is an album I personally owned, and it was one of my favorites, and it has a hilarious name, kind of. <laughs> well, it does. It's not kind of. It is hilarious. So we're talking Blink-182. They're making a big comeback right now, so extra collectible, but uh, Enema of the State is the name of the album, and it makes me laugh. Um, but yeah, Enema of the State, it came out in the late 90s. So again, not as many people doing cassettes at that point. And this album, and again, because Blink-182, I think, is really popular at the moment, is um, it's selling between $40 and $50 used, new, much more. So you definitely want to look for Enema of the State. And again, I recommend listening to it. They will tell you that nobody likes you when you're 23. And, <laughs> and I remember being 23 and listening to that and re it resonating with me, you know, in my young adultness. <laughs> Next album. I have actually found this cassette in the wild and sold it, and it sold very quickly. This album is by Beastie Boys, Licensed to Ill. So we're talking rap rock here. And this album, I sold it in the 30s when I sold it on cassette. It was used, um, but I've seen it go up to $40 even. So if you happen to see Beastie Boys, Licensed to Ill, definitely want to pick that up. And, and it's a good album to listen to as well. So you're getting all kinds of musical recommendations for me as well today. I'm such a big music fan. So this is a topic near and dear to my heart and interest as well as as Bolo reselling. <laughs> so yeah, Beastie Boys licensed to ill. Last but not least, a rock band that I am not a huge fan of, but I respect their music and it's very good. Um, an album from the band Tool. It's called Lateralus. Lateralus, excuse me. It sells in anywhere from the high 60s to the high 80s. So it's kind of a big range, but definitely a good return for what you're probably going to get for it. And that's the list. 
Hopefully you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like this video if you haven't already. Don't forget to subscribe. I make content every week, as I've said in my other videos. So definitely would love to have you watching all the time. So for now, this is Melanie with Crow's Thrifty Finds. I'll see you next week.